my knuckles get so stuck like that. Ow. Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I'm gonna do my April favorites. I know it's a little bit late in the month to do these, but guess what? I don't care. I want to do them anyways because I want to revisit favorites here in the future and just kind of see what's still a favorite product and what is not coming up maybe like next year. And I want to start revisiting my favorites from last year. And also I have a rehaul coming up soon for my very first haul I posted on this channel. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I have a ton of panning stuff coming up. I just have so much coming up and I'm really motivated to get going on these videos again. I've been starting to feel a little bit better. So that is a good thing. I still have very high anxiety, unfortunately, and I have a lot of things coming up in my life and yeah, so I have a lot of stuff going on, but I still want to do my favorites videos because I enjoy them and I really feel like Sometimes I really have to think about like what were my favorites this month? What was I using consistently? What was I enjoying using? And then other times I'm like, oh, I was using this. I love that. I just want to enjoy this and that and that and you know, whatever. And I feel like this month was one of those where I just knew what I liked using. I know what I've been using, what I've been enjoying. And I just was able to just like pick them out really, really quick and figure out what are my favorites for this month. So I am going to get on into this. Previously, in my last couple months, I did mention a few other favorites, which are still favorites of mine, but I wanted to introduce you guys to some new favorites that I have and just kind of show you what I've been enjoying. And I also have some food and drink favorites, and I'll put those at the end in case you're not interested in those, but I will do the beauty products first. So let's just get right into it. The first product, to no surprise to anyone, anyone, if you saw my Bob series video, is the perfume in the Toca Florence. I love this. I will put the notes here on the screen, but this is seriously like, it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful spring scent. Oh my God, it reminds me of pears on a beach walk. Like literally like if I'm eating a pear while I'm taking a walk on the beach. Like that's exactly what this smells like to me and I love it so much with like maybe like flowers in the background. Like you know what I mean? Like where you can smell the flower scent in the background. I love it. Anyways, I highly, highly recommend you guys going up to Sephora, checking this out, smelling it, maybe getting a sample of it. I did previously get a sample of this in a sample box and then I went to Sephora to get another sample just to make sure it was a scent that I would enjoy and I ended up picking it up. I got the scent certificate so I didn't pay any money for this. Well, I did pay for the like the samples and then I used the scent certificate to redeem it for this and I'm so happy I did. I love it so much. It is such a beautifully smelling perfume and not only that but the bottle is just so high quality. The lid is like got weight to it. It's such a beautiful design. I love this. It makes me want to explore more Toka fragrances, fragrances in the future, so I will definitely be doing that, but for right now, for the spring Toka Florence, seriously, beautiful. The next one I'm also going to do a body scent as well, and this one is actually like a body splash, and this is a really old one. I got this many, many years ago. This is by Body Fantasies and it is in Cotton Candy Fantasy. So this one is from Meyer, as you can see, but I got this forever ago and I have been savoring this last little bit. Like there is not much left here. Like let's be real, I could probably use that up in two weeks time, but I don't want to. I love this scent and I actually was at Meyer today and I checked it out and they don't even have this scent anymore. I'm not sure if I could even find this on Amazon or anything like that. I don't even know where they sell this anymore other than Meyer. But this Body Fantasies and Cotton Candy literally smells like the sweetest bundle of cotton candy that you've ever smelled. Every time I wear this, my son's like, Ooh, mom, you smell so good. Mmm, I love that. Yeah, he loves this one. And I love it too. It doesn't stay on the body at like at all, like not even a little bit, but when you initially spray it, it smells so good. So for that reason, I would totally pick this up again if I could find it. If you guys find this Cotton Candy Fantasy anywhere, let me know down in the comments below because I really, really want to pick this one up again. I'm like, that's why I'm savoring it because I can't find it and I want to get a refill before I finish this one up. And then 
Also, if you guys are familiar with the Body Fantasies line, let me know if any other scents that you guys like. I kind of smelled a few of them, but none of them were really jumping out at me. I don't know, there was a few that I like thought I might get, but I'm on a no buy, so I'm like kind of putting things on a list right now. Let me know if you guys have a favorite scent from this line, and I will go check it out and see if it's something that I can love as well. But so far, this Cotton Candy Fantasy, oh, winner. Love it. So something that I was reaching for last month when it wasn't even in my everyday makeup drawer and I was like, I am definitely putting it in this month is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette Volume 3. Um, this was the Christmas edition last year and I love this palette so much. It is such a beautiful palette. This one and this one are both finishing powders. This one is a highlighter. This is a bronzer and these two are blushes. And I can use every single color in here. I actually went to my, well, both of my, my stepsister-in-laws and then my stepsister, but like my sister's baby shower because they are both having a baby. Well, one of them already had the baby. I went to their joint baby shower and I wore only this palette on my face along with like a foundation and like eye makeup and stuff like that. But the only face products I used were from this palette and you will not believe how many compliments I got on my face makeup that day. People were telling me how glowy I looked and how natural and beautiful my skin looked. I just did like a super light layer. I do have an Instagram photo. I can try to insert it here, but Everybody was telling me like how pretty my makeup looked like it was amazing how many people were like literally commenting even my dad was like wow honey your makeup looks really really good today what'd you do and I was like I don't know I just did my makeup but this is the palette that I used and I have been loving this palette it gives you such a lit from within type of glow and I love the fact that if I just want this like all over my face I can just go like with my brush and just like get a glow all over my face and it's like the perfect color with everything combined I love this palette I highly recommend the hourglass powders I have a list of powders that are on my to buy list for the Sephora 20% off sale because hourglass is not sold at Ulta as far as I know let me know if I'm wrong but as far as I know they're not sold at Ulta but they are on my list. I have a few bronzers and a few blushes and I'm just, I'm dying to get more of these because I love them so much. I'm honestly surprised. It doesn't look like I have bigger dips than I do in here because I've been using this so frequently, but truly you don't need a lot of product, which is why I think it's worth the money. So this was an $80 palette that I got 20% off last year during the 20% off sale. And I will totally pick it up again next Christmas because these palettes are the best, super travel friendly. I mean, it's small, like look how small that is but you get so much product out of here. And I, like I said, I would repurchase over and over again. I'm gonna try not to be so long-winded because I do that. So the next thing that I have been using every single day and it is in my Drop 10 by Summer Project Pan is the Hey Honey 24 seven Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. I love this stuff. I ended up picking up a full size during the 21 Days of Beauty sale. It wasn't one of the like 21 Days of Beauty offers but it was like one of the side offers that they had and I picked up a full size of this. So I have this little sample to finish up and then another little sample and then I can dive into the full size but I have been loving this. It is the perfect moisturizer for me. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, and I love the fact that it says day and night moisturizing cream because I can definitely use this for both. I prefer it for the day because I prefer a very, very thick base at night, but I can definitely use this at night if I need to. So like if I was traveling, I would probably only bring this moisturizer so that I didn't have multiple moisturizers to put on one of the day and one of the night, if that makes sense. So I've been really, really loving this, highly recommend it. And the Hey Honey Company is just such a great company. If you guys look into their lines and their products and stuff, I just, I love, I love this company. They are so great. They have a lot of fantastic products. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Then something I have been putting on every single night because honestly, I forgot I had it because I bought it at the 20% off sale at Sephora last Christmas or this past Christmas. 
And I know that this brand is a more natural brand, so you definitely want to use up their products a little bit more quickly than you would other brands because they are more of a natural based product, so their products go bad quicker. And it is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. It's tiny. Like I was expecting this to be much bigger, and I always like to compare things on my hand because. I feel like when people show the product like this, I can't really get a very good size comparison of how big it is. So here is my finger, this is my pointer finger, and that's how big the product is. I do not have big hands, I have very small hands. So anyways, they don't really give you a lot of product in here, and I've been using this every single night. At first I was like, nah, it's just a lip balm, right? It's just a regular old lip balm, why is everyone freaking out? It's like 20 something dollars for this lip balm, which is ridiculous by the way. But I used it for like a week in a row and then I didn't use it just to see, just to see what would happen. And my lips got so freaking dry and peely and cracky when I wasn't using it. I was so mad. And then the night that I used it again, my lips were so soft in the morning. It like made me mad a little bit. You know, because it's so freaking expensive. I haven't tried the Agave Lip Mask yet. I do have it, but I'm using up a different treatment mask right now from Hanalei, and that's in my sample project pan, so you guys will see that empty soon. And once that one's empty, I am gonna be putting in the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask in there because I want to use that one, same thing, and I wanna see if it actually works because if these do work as well as they have been, I'm gonna put them on my list for the 20% off sale. I won't be purchasing these for, you. I would not purchase these for full price. No freaking way would I ever purchase these for full price, it's way too expensive. But I feel like if they both work so well, I can justify it getting at the 20% off. I know it's really not even that much off, but I can definitely, I can do it. I really can because it has made such a difference in my lips and I've been doing a lot of lipstick lately and a lot of lip swatches. I've had to refilm my ColourPop lip swatch video three times now. Three. Three times because my computer corrupted the first one. I deleted footage the second time or switched whatever, flip flop, that and then my SD card on here messed up and it like corrupted the image, the footage. I was so mad. Anyways. I have filmed since another one. Yes, another one. And it's quite annoying having to do it all again. So nonetheless, my lips have been very, very dry and this has been helping me out so much. I hate that I like it so much, but I do. It's so good, you guys. Oh, man. I would definitely recommend using this up within the year though. This, I don't know. I don't know how long this is technically good for, but I would definitely, like I said, this is more of a natural brand, so use it up within the year of getting it because you don't want this to go bad and then you wasted all that money, you know? Anyways. Another product that is in my drop 10 by summer and I have been loving is actually on my eyes right now. It is the mascara I'm wearing and it is the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I love this crap. I love it. Why? because it's amazing. Here is the brush, it literally looks like nothing. Like the brush just looks kind of like a regular natural bristle brush, right? It's, it's nothing. But this is the best because if you just want length in your lashes and no volume, use one coat. Just one. And you get the lengthiest, most spread out lashes ever. Now, if you're like me and you like length and volume, then put two coats on. It's that simple. I don't have to twist anything weird. I don't have to turn the handle or turn the brush to be at a different angle to put it on. None of that craziness. Just an extra layer will fill out your lashes and make them so voluminous. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this one. I, I venture to say I like this one more than the Lights Camera Lashes. And that's a lot to say because I really, really like the Lights Camera Lashes mascara from Tarte, but I think I like this one more. And the packaging is so beautiful. It's like a bamboo packaging. I love this. So 
I will tell you guys, I would definitely repurchase this. I have so many mascaras, I'm not going to be repurchasing anytime soon, but it's definitely on my list. I love it. Seriously, if you want length and volume like me, this is it. This is it. And it revives so well. I had to revive it with eye drops and it was like it was brand new. Literally brand new. And I, I don't, I don't know. It was perfect. Love it. Definitely recommend this one. Now I'm going to talk about a couple lip products. One thing that I have been wearing almost every single day to work is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Emma. And here it is here. I love this one. It's like a white sparkle. Oh yeah, you can see how much I've been wearing it. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. I'm getting empty. It's trying to because I wear it so much. But it's like, I don't know, it's like this iridescent, like pink, white, gold sparkle. But on the lips without anything else on, because typically, like I said, I don't wear lipstick to work. I wear glosses and balms all the time. Putting this on just gives me that like natural glow to my lips. And I love it. It looks so good. It's so comfortable. It has that tingling feeling. So like it kind of plumps your lips a little bit as well. And it doesn't get sticky. Like it doesn't get my hair to stick in it like some other glosses do that drive me crazy. But anyways, I really, really do love the Buxom Full On Lip Polishes. And I know that they're repackaging a bunch of different things, but I don't know if it's the full-on lip polish that they're repackaging as well. But nonetheless, I would totally recommend this. And this is in the shade Emma, if you guys are looking for the exact same shade. I know White Russian is like the typical one, and obviously I love that one too. But this is the one I've been wearing the most, and I love it. The other lip product that I've been wearing a ton is from Essence, and it is the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade 06 Barely There. And this is such a perfect color. It just gives you a wash of color and it's like the perfect mauve nude for me. I love this. I can apply this without any mirror because it goes on kind of like a gloss. Like I don't have to be super precise in my lip line and it still looks good. So I mean, I just, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It is so comfortable on the lips. I don't even feel like I have lipstick on. I seriously feel like I have a balm on when I'm wearing this. And that's how I feel like lipstick should be. It should be so comfortable that you don't even realize that you have lipstick on until you drink, you know, your glass of wine and it comes off on your glass. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel about this. I feel like I just have a lip balm on and it is so moisturizing. Long lasting, I don't fully agree with this being a long lasting lipstick, to be completely honest. It is more of a creamy base formula, so it does tend to rub off a little bit more quickly, but when it rubs off, it rubs off so evenly, it doesn't even matter because then you can't even tell because it's barely there, you know? I do feel like if you got a different shade, like a super dark shade or a super like nude shade, you know what I'm talking about? Like a deep nude shade. I don't feel like it would be as flattering when it, when it rubs off, but this one's like a My Lips But Better kind of color. And I just, I love it. I highly recommend it. It is so affordable, you guys. Like, I don't know. Essence has just been killing it this year for me because I am going to be doing a full Essence review on all of the products that I have. And I have tons, by the way. Um, but just using all of their products, I've just been loving them. So I will give you guys a full review on that very, very soon. But as of right now, I've just been obsessed with that lipstick. Then I have two more products left and then I'm gonna go to a few food and drink type of items. So I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Tinted BB or BB Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Light Medium. I know I've talked about this previously, but I love this. So it has an SPF of 20, which I highly appreciate that it even has it in there. And then if you double this up with their Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation, that has an SPF as well. So if I'm going outside for the day, like if we're going for a long bike ride or something like that, I'll put this on and then I'll put the BB Cream or the Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation on top and it kind of doubles up my layer of my SPF and I feel so much more protected from the sun because I don't want any more sun damage to my skin. I've had enough over the years where I haven't taken care of my face and 
I just don't want to do that anymore. So this has been helping me a lot to remember to put SPF on because it's in there. But because it has SPF, it does, you know, it does go bad more quickly, which is okay because I've been using it like crazy. But it's so good. It's so lightweight on the skin. I feel like my skin can still breathe through it, which I really appreciate. I don't know why you guys haven't tried this. If you like BB creams and you like a very light to medium coverage, it's definitely buildable to a medium coverage, but you guys know me. I'm definitely more of a light coverage kind of girl. Um, this is perfect for me, and I love the finish on this. This is definitely a natural look finish. If you don't want to look like you have makeup caked on your face, this is what I would go to, to be totally honest. I don't have it on my face today. I have a different foundation on, but I would recommend this every day of the week. The very last makeup item that I have for you guys is not really a makeup item. It's more of a skincare item. It is the one thing that I credit for saving my skin. So you guys know I used to have really bad redness and sun damage on my skin. I used to break out randomly, especially on my forehead and my chin, and I have not had like any breakouts like maybe the tiniest little one but not even enough to like mention and my redness on my cheeks has been going away significantly and now I do have a lot of freckles and they are like lighter freckles they're not like the deep dark freckles which is good I, I guess I mean it doesn't really matter to me because I can't do anything about freckles but as far as like the rest of my skin and the texture and the softness I credit the Rosehip Plus Pure and Natural Rosehip Oil Australian Certified Organic Cold Pressed. This is, this is what we need. Maybe not we, but me. This is what I needed the whole time to make my skin better. And I know that Kelly Gooch here on YouTube, she has talked about using rosehip oil previously, but I was just kind of like, eh. You know, it's not for me. I don't want to put oil on my face. You know, I have combination skin so I can get really oily. No, this is perfect. I do two tiny little drops for my entire face. So needless to say, I've been using this for almost two full months now. My skin has completely cleared up. My redness has almost gone away. My texture on my skin is virtually undetectable. And this barely even has a dent in it. So this is gonna last a long time. I was really worried when I first got this that it wouldn't last very long. And then I realized how much I wasn't using because I only use two drops every single morning. So every morning when I wash my face, I put this on two drops, let it sink in all the way while I get my coffee or I get my son's lunch ready or whatever. And then I put my moisturizer on once this has completely sunk into my skin. That's what's been saving my skin, literally, every single day. I do this in the morning, I don't do it at night. And it's what's been saving my skin. And I'm so happy, so, so happy about it. It does recommend that you put on three to four drops, but for my skin, that's a little bit too much because like I said, I have more combination skin and now that it's turning more into the summer months, it gets a little bit more oily. So I don't want to put too much oil on my skin, but it does say it's suitable for morning and night and for all skin types. So I would definitely recommend just trying it. This I got from Marshalls for $7.99. It's totally worth it. I would buy it over and over and over again. And I have actually repurchased a different rosehip oil because I couldn't find the exact same kind. And I don't even need it yet. Like that was kind of dumb to repurchase a new one, but I didn't realize how much I wasn't using, you know? But that's okay. I'm loving it. I'm happy I have more. I will continue to use it every single day until it stops working for my skin, which hopefully it never will because I finally found something that works and I recommend you try it if you have the same skin concerns as me. Okay you guys, so that is all of my makeup and beauty favorites for the month. If you guys want to stick around for just like three food favorites, stick around and I'm gonna get through them right now. So one thing that I have been loving doing every single day almost, like every other day, squash and zucchini. I never really liked these right? Like they were always just kind of like, meh, I don't really want them. They're whatever. They're not cooked right. Whatever, right? No. I figured out the way I like them. So I cut them into pretty small like pieces. And what I do is I mix them together. I like to mix them because the different flavors make a difference for me. Maybe not for you, but they totally make a difference for me. 
And what I do with these is I put them in the oven between 350 and 400, depending on how like roasty I want them. Put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of garlic salt, and I just roast them and I mix them every 20 minutes or so until they get completely soft. Oh, they're the best. That's my favorite. I've been bringing this to lunch all the time at work. I have been making it all the time at home and I really, really love this. It's like the best combination. And these are so freaking cheap in the summertime and you can grow them yourself. So my mom usually grows zucchini. She doesn't grow summer squash. So I end up picking these up, but they're super cheap at the fruit market. I mean, you can get like five of these for a dollar. That's cheap. I'm just saying. And I'll typically eat like this would be a full like lunch meal for me, which is a good size. And it's only like 30 calories, like 15 calories for each of these, not including the oil and the salt and stuff, but 15 calories for each of these. Hello, can you go wrong? The other food favorite that I have been loving is the Hannah Organic Hummus. And it is the red pepper hummus. This is the hummus that I get from Costco. If you have a local Costco around you, it's like the ginormous family tub and I love it. As you can see, it's like almost gone and I do already have another one in my fridge. I've been loving these with red peppers and carrots and celery and I've been eating it pretty much every single day. It's been my go-to snack when I get home instead of chips. I love chips, let's be real. But this has been my go-to snack because I'm trying to eat more healthy and eat more, you know, fresh foods and fresh fruits and vegetables, stuff like that. And this has been helping me get my vegetables in when I'm not really feeling like, you know, having raw vegetables or cooked vegetables. So I love this, really enjoy it definitely recommend. And the very last food and drink item is actually my drink and it is the Kavita Master Brew Kombucha and this is in the pineapple peach scent or flavor and this is what I've been getting at Costco and you get them in like a six pack and I think it's only like $11.99 or $12.99 and I love these. It has such good probiotics. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan and I love it, it tastes so good. It does make me a little bit like burpy because of the probiotics and the natural um, carbonation in it from the fermentation, but I love it. It's so good, I highly recommend it. All right guys, so that was all of my favorites for the month of April, and I'm really happy you guys stuck around for all of that. Make sure you comment below on some of your favorites for the month. I would love to look them up and see if there's anything that interests me. I'm always looking to find new products that I love, but I'm on a no buy. So I'm not gonna buy any yet, but I'll put them on my list and I'll check them out online. Anyways, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye. It's like an art keeping my necklaces not tangled.